Ross might be out. Taken comfortably, and that's a good catch in the deep. One run needed. This might run away to the boundary. Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to Straight Bat with Devesh. Uh, as you remember, we in the last episode, we were discussing about a lot of issues going on with the teams and the environment, the coaching staffs, the issue with the management uh, and the selection process, so and so forth. Uh, but there were a lot of uh, stuff we could not uh, discuss. So today we are going to discuss, take, take from the last episode and discuss it further. So let us see what comes out from today's episode. So coming to the responsibility right and take it from there, uh, what do you think that uh, we have Monty Desai in, uh, in April till April from April, March or April he was appointed, March he was appointed right and till April end he was there and after the tournament he just packed his bag and he went away. He took his money, tada bye bye. And then we thought that he might be continued. I thought, personally I thought that he was under contract of at least some time, but it was not true. And uh, we saw that in Namibia, sorry in Bermuda, the coach changed. And now again, we, we, when we went to Malaysia, the, the same coach went. So what do you think about the new coaching uh, team we had? Did you see any change and you know? I'll be very honest, Vish, but and without saying too much, I'll just say this, that they need professional Coach. coaches. The Canadian team needs professional coaches. Mm -hmm. uh, someone who knows the job, you know, and uh, who are very professional at doing what they do. And someone who can set a good example for mm -hmm. the players, mm -hmm. without saying much. Mm -hmm. The wise people out there will understand what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. and a lot of the players will understand what I'm trying to no, say. No, I will add to it. Right? So you are saying that Ingleton, Henry, are not the ideal coach? You need someone who is professional, someone who can set a good example for the players. Mm -hmm. Every time team fails, mm -hmm. we drop the players, we put in new players because we need to cover ourselves somehow. The, uh, I'm talking about the management. Mm -hmm. So just to cover themselves, their own mistakes, they change the players, right? Mm -hmm. So they can blame everything. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's time that they change other things around mm -hmm. <laughs> because they keep making changes. Every tour we go to, it's hard for other teams to plan against Canada mm -hmm. because they know half of the teams, they don't even know. Mm -hmm. Half of the uh, time is new guys, right? And those guys don't even know the role because, you know, as I said, we don't pick according to the role. And team keeps failing. Maybe mm. it's time that we make changes in other areas as well. And this is not the first time I'm hearing that uh, there's a lot of problem and there are a lot of uh, uh, rumors, I will say, I'm hearing about the coaching staffs. And some of the coaching staff don't even make on time uh, for the team meeting during the course. Is it true or? Without taking name, if you can, or you, you can take the name as well. For the majority, I think they're okay. Um, mm. But yes, it has happened in the past mm -hmm. where um, the team will go to the uh, training or game. Mm. This is something the management should look into, but I guess uh, the management perhaps never gets to hear this. I think, so, um, yeah. I just wanted to add something. Uh, in this, uh, the coaching staff is what, you know, makes sure there's a discipline in the team. Hmm. And the discipline is not only, you know, and one thing should be in everywhere. When I used to, I remember when we used to play in back in the days when, it, in, you know, 2008, 2009, with Pabudu was coach. Pabudu was, yeah. You know, that guy was the number of one coach. person who comes in the oh. nets. Okay. I never seen him late. Mm -hmm. Since that those days, I had, I had that habit of coming on time. Yeah. Just because of him. Mm-hmm. So those are discipline things you learn from the mm -hmm. coaches. Mm -hmm. We used to have a rule. This mm -hmm. is not a, a franchise team. This is a national team. Mm -hmm. You need to have a discipline. Mm -hmm. You need to tell these players, 10 o'clock is your uh, curfew time. Mm -hmm. We have a very important game tomorrow. 
yeah. the World Cup, we yeah. might go to the World Cup, we have a very important game, hmm. you're supposed to be in your room at 10 o'clock. So, last time when we qualified uh, for the World Cup, that was back in 2011, right? 2009, yeah. Uh, 2009, uh, we qualified, qualified, but yeah. the World Cup yeah. was in 2011. 2011 yeah. So, who was the coach that time? Abudu. Abudu, yeah. okay. So, it does make difference, right? Definitely, yeah. you know, just just think, just just look at our, look at what is going on with our team right now. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, it, it bothers me sometimes when we have one good game, mm -hmm. And everyone start jumping around, mm -hmm. like you know, this is the first time we won. Mm -hmm. Canada is a team who went to the four World, World Cups. Cup. So we are not like. And Tom we Dick just and like Harry. you know, we we act like oh, we beat CCC or we beat uh, Ireland or we beat mm -hmm. that team. Or we, okay, uh, good. We should be happy if we win, but don't just think this is end of the world. We won three first three games, and what happened to us? Yeah. We're not going to the World and Cup. And this is very important. I'll come to you uh, about. Uh, so, before we want go to Dubai, let's wrap up Malaysia. Mm -hmm. So, Malaysia was another uh, successful tournament. Jesus. Sicily, and you were, you were part of it. <laughs> so, what do you feel uh, the difference when you are winning? Uh, because the team is same, the environment is same, the coach were same, but. What was a different you were guys were doing in uh, Malaysia? Well, let's start saying th uh, with this that when can Canada is winning, it's mm -hmm. not against the strongest teams. I'll be very honest. Yeah. Right? This is a uh, hard truth, but this is true. Yeah, true. Malaysia, we won. It was in the hardest tournament uh, once again. Mm -hmm. Not everything was tested. Not mm -hmm. everything was challenged to the maximum. Uh, so yes, everything was covered now, up. To the, some extent, I will say. Um, uh, Singapore challenged. Yes, but one and or Hong two Kong. games. But I yeah. still we lost from them, no? Yeah, but and we lost that. Lost, yes. Okay. But I wouldn't say that it's still uh, considering some of the other uh, teams that we have played in the past. So we yeah. played in uh, yeah, Dubai. Yeah, it, yeah, it was still c uh, considerable easy. Yeah. So a lot of things were covered up. So yeah. you, you know you can just overlook those things because you're winning and winning team. Obviously, not everything comes out until you're challenged. Yeah. Then you see uh, those things. So as I said, yeah, Malaysia was easy tournament, easy tour. For everybody, we everybody made runs and uh, everybody was looking good on the scorebooks. Ev the management was happy. Everybody mm -hmm. was happy. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of things didn't come up until we were yeah. challenged in Dubai. But I also hear a lot of controversies erupting from Malaysia as well. And I heard that Saad was injured and uh, he was dropped in Malaysia. No, no. Oh, it was Dubai, in fact, Dubai, right? Yeah. Sorry. But uh, there was uh, pollution issues. There were mm -hmm. uh, there was some. Uh, Skirmishes and within the team, there was some fight going on. Was it true or just rumors? In I Malaysia? think uh, from since I was there, I think majority is probably just rumors. I didn't see any um, uh, fights among players or anything. I think we uh, guys played as a unit, mm -hmm. and um, as I said, most of the guys uh, in the team knew their role very well. Mm -hmm. um, and as a the easy tournament, the wickets were flat. I mean, the bowlers had a little bit of a So there was nothing there, special. So. The coach were giving any information or analysis, or there was simple easy match. That was the reason we won in. I Malaysia. would say so. I would say so. I okay. mean, uh, there is a game analysis. Obviously, in the meeting, you talk about mm -hmm. you know uh, your own personal approach. But I wouldn't say that we had any deep or very um, you know deep analysis of any mm -hmm. game. No, but it's just a uh, normal analysis that we used to have, but that's about it. Uh, Cecil, do you have any special uh, comment to add in for Malaysia tour? Did you observe anything which you wanted to discuss? Um, I, nothing much from that tour. I, I, I think Cecil covered pretty much, I think, was obviously the challenge is different when you, you know, when the teams are not putting you under pressure. Is obviously as always a bit of easy to just, you know, go through the game and, you know, and the stuff uh, you should be worrying about is n not really, you know, pops up. So uh, I think uh, Malaysia tour that you know that that's how you can see when the team doing well is different. When they're not doing well, is obviously there's some issues which we don't figure it out before that those those yeah. games. Yeah. So now let's talk about Dubai. So Dubai was. The tour was, were, you know, everyone was very positive about, and all we had to do was just win against three of the stronger team, and then we would have qualified. 
everything was going great we were winning we won in um, bermuda then we won our series in malaysia tour was going everywhere you know perfect everyone was going gaga and say okay we are going to make it it's not a problem and everything was going right till we started losing and once we start losing and this i have seen everywhere once we lose one match i don't know what happens to team we just go down the hill so what went wrong in dubai after ireland we did become very overconfident what what happened there um so do you want to add something or no i i wasn't there but i can just say from watching from outside um I'm not sure about the overconfident because I've been with the team, uh, mm -hmm. even though I wasn't in Dubai. But I don't think it's overconfidence. Uh, from looking outside, I think it was just bad decisions that the uh, select in select selecting the playing eleven. I think captaincy was the issue. Uh, perhaps I'm uh, not sure if uh, he's involved in the selection. Then uh, I will blame him too. But so are I you saying that captain is not involved in selection? Again, that this is, your is experience? I mean, to be honest, I've never been captain, so I wouldn't be able to tell you. But this Must is cricket Canada. Must be involved in playing eleven. I guess. Yeah, but this is cricket Canada. Anything is possible, right? So yeah. with cricket Canada, I mean, I don't know who selects the playing eleven, whether it's the management or the coaches or someone in Canada sitting here sends you a list of playing eleven. I have no idea, so mm -hmm. I can't really comment on that. I don't know, so but this is my observation that team was okay. Uh, you know, there is not. nowhere in the world you will ever see that one team is selected and nobody is raising a question no team is perfect right mm -hmm. so unless you do something blunder like you did in namibia where you selected six opener but even in this dubai team everything was perfect rizwan was there there was experience there was youth and everything was there yes we raised a question about nicolas and uh, we saw that how that kid was struggling but my point is that when you take a star player or your you know one of the better player uh, like rijwan in in the tour why don't you let him play all the matches either he must be injured or he is not good enough if he's not, he was not good enough he should not have been selected right but if he was selected for the tour why he was not given enough chance to yes rijwan you have to do this for us right so show him respect give him the responsibility and take take it from there so what do you think sir before i come to rizwan what happened with him in dubai i mean uh, i think rizwan probably can answer this better whether he was injured or he, whether he was but what do you think if you were the captain what role you would have given to rizwan definitely he is the most experienced guy hmm. he is the only one in hmm. my opinion and uh, no disrespect to any of my other teammates mm -hmm. but he's the only one who could come at number 5 6 or 7 and hit over that boundary it was mm -hmm. a huge boundary because in the way the the boundaries were very was very, very he's the only guy in my opinion i mm -hmm. think who could have done the job yeah. and when you bench someone like that then your low order is always struggling to find the boundaries and that's i think what happened in a lot of the cases so initially i we heard that rizwan you were injured so first match you didn't play because of injury um <coughs> yeah uh i just want to obviously uh, clear on that um the day before uh, uh, the tournament starts we were swarming up with soccer ball mm. and i got hit on my leg twisted a little bit so it was not fit in i was not even uh, uh nobody asked me not to play at that game mm. i actually went to them mm. told them like you know i'm i'm not 100% mm. and obviously the game is with jersey is i think so i said it's a easy game maybe so i don't have to really you know if you want to try someone else so it was out and then the other game i said okay now is nigeria it's okay if if you know mm -hmm. i can rest another day mm. and then obviously i was you know really working hard on my knee and you know going to the physio and fixing it and then you know make it work mm. so then i made it back to you know to playing playing condition mm. and then obviously um every time like you guys were surprised i was surprised too you were not selected when, yeah when they announced the team so they, it's just a, a you know i came back against ireland first game didn't bat in the nets mm -hmm. with the new ball mm. 
like obvious things. So they asked me to go open. I said, okay, you know, might don't have to. Mm. I can go up and then do the job because the opener was struggling too. So went didn't come out. Mm. That was you know obviously didn't uh, had enough practice maybe before that. So and then the next game against Hong Kong, I, I went lower. Mm. When I went in was pretty much 12, 13 runs per over to go at that time. Mm. Went in, tried, so, you know, yeah, and I was actually, we lost, but I was still most runs in that game. I was the highest run scorer in the game, doesn't mm. matter how much. Mm -hmm. It was disappointing, I got run out. And this run rate goes higher and higher because somewhere uh, down, you know, somewhere, uh, you know, up the down, I, nobody I would, was I, hitting as they should have. Yeah, been I would yet. say it was uh, lack of communication at that point. You you need to send a message in. Hmm. You need to send a message in and you need to send a message in right away. And I had a lot of controversy then and one of the top team management, uh, sorry, a person from the management told me and I will not take his name because it was unofficial chit chat. Mm -hmm. And he said that, you know, uh, there was one senior player who went for the therapy or his whatever medical treatment without informing the team. Was it you or somebody else? Wasn't me. You was, you was okay. So, but, but I, I try to understand uh, when you, you guys get an agreement yeah. or you guys sign to play for Canada, do you get any agreement or code of conduct or this you should not be doing, this should, you should be doing? It's it's not about what you, you know, um, are you have enough sources to be ready for the game? Why we, you know, why, if, you know, it wasn't me, but whoever was it might have a bit of uh, concern about his stuff and he went to maybe uh, somewhere, to, you know, I don't know why he went, should hmm. have consulted Who with you. I don't know. You don't know? I don't really... Actually, you know, but you don't want to take no, the no, name. No, no, no. I, I, I don't know. I, I, the guy who uh, name, says his name to you, you might probably know, but... but no, even but, he didn't take the name. But Yeah, but this is... Uh, and both of us know who is that guy, but the point is not that. Yeah, but but this is... Look look at this. Okay, let's not about that thing, but look at this. Why these things are concerning and not the others? <laughs> hmm. Okay, why you want to put someone down because of these things? Mm -hmm. Because you making these kind of issues about people mm -hmm. and making sure that you, know, you have something in your hand to screw them up later on. Mm -hmm. Are you giving them enough opportunity and to get fit uh, to perform? No, mm -hmm. but you just want to make sure you just find some ways mm -hmm. you have people out there who gives you the stories mm. about players so you can screw them up later. Mm. So this, this is a, a cheap stuff, I would say, about so, uh, if, you, so if, you, if, you, if you think, the why, I just wanted to ma add something here, why so much hate about players? Mm. Why you always want someone you're liking to come in and you want some, doesn't matter if the guy is performing, doesn't matter if he's good, why you want to take him out? Mm -hmm. These things are very sh bad about uh, national team. Well, if I am a president I, or uh, if I am a director, I also like to have my votes intact, right? Uh, the, uh, the, well, I would like to add something here, what Rizwan said. In this team, and it has been going on for some time, mm -hmm. there are personal likes and dislikes from the management side towards the players. Mm -hmm. And that is what's causing us these tournaments after tournaments, right? Mm -hmm. We have to think beyond all this, right? Mm -hmm. Your personal problems with players, you have to leave everything out. We have to win for Canada. So, but so far what's happening is, so far the management or s some certain people in the management are waiting for a certain player to fail or look for s so many ex uh, excuses. I so this guy, fail. yeah, so out. this guy fails. So the moment the player does, his acts from the team and that's wrong and it's been happening way too many times i look at this team uh, do you think that tournament. yeah but do you think that stage is being set absolutely to axe one of the left arm spinner 
from the team? I'm not sure if that's the case with one left arm spinner. I don't know. But as I said, but it's, because it's I a am whole hearing pattern. a story. It's, it's I'm hearing a lot of story in the circle. That I won't be surprised. That there is if a that's conspiracy happening. going on to act. I will not be surprised if that's happening because it has happened in the past. Yeah. And I know what I'm saying right now. A lot of people are going to dislike me, mm. and I might be axed from the team, dropped from the team. But I don't care. Someone has to say these things, and me and Rizwan are here to tell you guys. Certain things are happening. Lo there's a lot of favoritism in the team. Mm -hmm. A lot of favoritism uh, f from the selection panel or the board members or the president himself. Mm. Unless these things, if we stop these things, we are not going anywhere. I just wanted to say one thing here. Just, just look at our team. For a past little while now, mm. we only looking into things, how we're going to make that province happy or that guy happy and that guy happy how many players i can play that person's that person that person's and we're not even and our, our team is going uh nose dive yeah like you know this is a concern big concern and saddening actually to see and i'll give you an example i normally i don't want to speak against any players because i know how much hard work they do uh, and good or bad uh, but when they come to a team like national team, uh, they are under scrutiny, right? And we have all the rights to criticize the player. The first thing we should notice that while batting, how stable you are, right? And if you have seen Montreal player who has been gone to national, not national team, but development team, I think he's good, but I will not say, but he needs to work really hard to be part of list A team. And uh, when you, you know, go down so low, during batting, there's a problem. And I don't know how he was selected, but it is not his problem. It is our selection process problem. And exactly. I don't even know what to call this team. Is it development team or team uh, A team or what it is? Because when you had the trials just before T20, you had 50 top players from Canada to come there. Half of those guys never even made to the most of the guys, A lot of these guys who were, in, who were playing uh, in this tournament were not even there. So I'm uh, not blaming these players. These players are probably good too. Mm. What I'm saying is there has to be a process. If you're having a competition where you have the top 50 players, mm. okay, guys, this is our selection panel. Some of the players, I'll be very honest. I'm sorry, guys, if uh, someone is hurt. Went to Dubai, they were not there. But when I got the email, I was clearly told that if you do not come to this tournament, which is a trial, mm. uh, 50 top 50, you will not be considered for Canada in the future. Mm. So there is absolutely no fairness in selection. So it management. means that... Certain advantage is being taken Absolutely. because the power lies with some of the people mm -hmm. and they know how to and when to use it. Exactly. Because I am nothing against uh, this guy, uh, Jeremy Gordon, and I really admire his bowling. Mm -hmm. He has really improved a lot and uh, you know he should be in, yeah. the, in, the, in the two number. But in the vital game, he was missing. Mm -hmm. And later on, we came to know that because he had a prior commitment and he has to come back. Uh, so he has to fly down. But my question is that if you were, as a management, you were aware of these scenarios, what was your fill up the gaps? Nothing. Uh, you know, I just wanted to add. And here was a player who is yeah. full committed. He said, if I am in, I am in. Why won't you fly Cecil? Yeah, take Cecil with you anyway. Take, yeah. t you know. Yeah. Bowler like Cecil, if we, you know, I'm, I'm gonna be honest. Mm -hmm. If he was there, mm -hmm. I know him for a long time. Mm -hmm. Skilled bowler, bowl good Yorkers, bowl, you know, all those yeah. slow balls. That's what we lack in in that tournament. Yeah, because we, we saw that our, except for Jeremy, Jeremy, even Jeremy, did really fast and good. He tried best. He did a good job. But the rest of the ballers were failing to do Yorker on the continuous level. And in those uh, pitches where, you know, you can, the ground is so big, you can vary your length, you can slow down your pace and you can, you know, it's make them harder to hit. It's, yeah. a, it's, a, it's, it's just a, the way these guys are think the way, Shpai. This, mm. you know, um, w they always have uh, excuses which, you know, it freaks you out sometimes, you know, these guys, yeah, he was old, he didn't bowl good in that. When they have to take you out, they they check one ball, you know how you play that. When you okay, you just get away with five games. Okay, so all all the teams who qualified, check it out. Yeah. All the teams have experienced players in the sides. And there was uh, one game, and uh, I want to discuss this because I noticed that 
and in one game uh, against it was against Oman or Hong Kong, I don't remember. Uh, but none of the star coaching staff I saw sitting outside with you guys. And one wicket fell down, and two of the batsmen were pad padded up, and no one was clear that who's going to come in. Would you like to explain that? What uh, well, uh, you know, uh, honestly, I have plenty. But I don't, don't just want to say right now because uh, that that's what I will put in my report sometimes. Mm. Make okay. sure if somebody asks you. Exactly, I will definitely. No, here I'm asking you. So can no, you? No, but I'm I'm just saying it's it's plenty other stuff too. It's not just a one thing. Can you give some about, of the uh, glimpses of what is coming? About coaching is uh, I just want to say one thing. We need to have coaches who have discipline, who can teach people something, not to just okay takes anybody as a coach. We need to have a proper setup if we want to do well. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, the way this team is going, it's mm -hmm. gonna be, it's gonna, it, and tough. we know we shouldn't be, you know, happy about just winning one game, two games here and there. This team should do well. There is a talent, there is everything, but system we have right now is only a hate system, which people just only can come out and hate certain people. And they will make sure that, you know these people just you know fade away somehow. But um, if we want to do well as a nation in cricket, we need to fix all these issues. We want to make sure we have a proper people around. We change players all the time. Why not let's change the other stuff this time? Let's yeah, change the I, other things around I, this time. I'm really surprised, and I say that uh, you know uh, stage is being set to ax one of the left arm spinner and he is one of the premier left arm spinner for a very long period and now I am hearing that slowly there is a conspiracy going on against him and one of the glimpses I got that when he did not play uh, against the team in Dubai uh, where you know uh, we went for a lot of runs and I think it was uh, second match or uh, second last match against where Oman. Uh, it was against Oman yes right and that we didn't have a uh, service of and he was all fit to ball so why he wasn't uh, in included in the team in i'm just going to add something here i i don't know what what was the reason in that game mm -hmm. if you telling me the person is 90% mm -hmm. even 80% mm -hmm. He's i would good enough. i would still play uh, obviously because yeah. he he was the key bowler in uh, in that line he is the only bowler who can uh, bowl in t20 during the uh, super over i have our seen player. i was in the team in 2009 uh -huh. when one of our player finger dislocated mm -hmm. due just before the warm up mm -hmm. and that person played that game okay just because the coaches at that time have that kind of mentality where you know they make sure their key player play in the game. So they went to the, to the clinic, they wrap him up, they fixed and the guy played the whole tournament with the thing on his finger. So you know but for that you need to have a visionary people around I guess. Okay, so you are the right guy to tell me about this because you have played under a lot of precedents. Uh, you started in when? In 2006 or 2007 you started? Or yeah, I was like from 2005 to... You started playing for Canada, yeah. right? So since then you have seen so many precedents and it is, it should be a very honest answer for you. Yeah. Among all these four or five guys you played under and you have seen their leadership skill and, you know, man management, who out of four or five you think is the best president you have ever played? <laughs> so it's an easy uh, question, it's Ben Sanek. Ben Sanek, not yeah. Ranjit Sanek? <laughs> for Come sure, on. Ben Sanek. Ranji Sani is the best, some people say. The best for you, maybe, but not for us. No, for me, he's the best, yeah. 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 Go ahead. Yeah. That's true, but I mean, you know, it's it's uh, best is who, who, the person who have that kind of vision to improve cricket. But Ranji Sani also brought GT20, Canada Fist, so why he's not there? Well, uh, anybody could have done that too. Mm -hmm. If I was in that position, I could have done the same thing if you were there. You could have because that is, uh, there's a still, not only that GT20. There's many other people who are, who's asking to bring cricket here. They mm. want to bring these kind so of tournaments. So you think GT20 was defaulted? No, it but I mean, I mean, this right. is not okay. Yeah, uh, it's it's good thing he brought it in. Mm. It's really good, you know, good stuff for the 
for the players, mm. but that was not something out of the, mm, you know. So, tell me one quality of uh, the president you like, yeah. which is uh, Ben, yeah. which you see missing in all others. I think uh, with him, he was, he was very focused on what his job was. Hmm. He, he used to work for 16 hours? No. No? He is, uh, I think, multi-millionaire guy. He, have his he was multi-millionaire. So, that so, is... Uh, he, I don't think uh, he wants to work 16 hours. Yeah. And plus, uh, his vision was different. He, 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 know, he knew he is a president. Hmm. His job is to make... Volunteer. To provide stuff for the team. Hmm. So, he used to travel in uh, business class? He can travel business class uh, Anytime. His on his own, own money, money. Okay. but I think uh, um, what he had done many times for the team is to uh, lend money from his personal account oh, okay. many times to the team. So, like, you know, no, those even, sort of things. Even I heard that this president is saying that Cricket Canada owed him quite a money. Um, I don't know how oh, much true is that. But one thing important aspect you brought forward is that he was a millionaire. Yeah. And he didn't a, have any expectation to earn from Cricket Canada. Oh. So, he was truly volunteering doing that job. Yeah, back in the days. I'm not saying not others are not doing, yeah. but his objective was very clear. That's the difference yeah, you want exactly. to say. Okay. And then, you know, back in the days, there was more money hmm. for players. And now, you know, there's, there's So, there was money, there was a motivation to do yeah. well. Okay. What is your experience, Cecil? Whom you will rate as your best president? I've played under, I think, about four different presidents. Um, for me, I mean, it all depends uh, if the president has uh, done the job that he's supposed to do or not. Yeah. Right. Um, it's hard for me to uh, say the one is uh, which one is better than the other. Um, all I can say is that as a president, you have a certain job to do. Mm -hmm. If that job comes secondary to you, mm. and there's something else... No, tell me, what, what are those jobs of the president? First, First of be all, very frank I'll you. be very frank. I think as a president, you're supposed to bring money, mm -hmm. sponsors to the team. Yeah, okay. Right? If you don't have CEO yeah. or any of those positions, because yeah. his president is the only man. Mm -hmm. And you fail to do that. Yes, Global T20 is bringing some money in it, but as mm. there is one said, um, it could have happened under, under anyway. any president. Yeah, right? yeah. The cricket team still does not have a single sponsor. No, but mind you, GT20 was not Ranjit Saini's brainchild. That, I mean, it was no, somebody I mean, else's. I mean, mm -hmm. It came because there was some mismanagement happened with other people, not his problem. Mm -hmm. But accidentally it came to Ranjit Saini and Ranjit Saini, I, I, all kudos to Ranjit Saini that he accepted that challenge and he said, okay, let's bring it. Okay. So, we should give credit to what he deserved. I'll, like, I'll yeah. tell you a few different things that are happening under yeah. current presidency. First of all, the cricket team still has no sponsor, paid mm -hmm. sponsor, mm -hmm. the cricket team. It's a national team. We mm -hmm. have absolutely no sponsor. Even the uniforms, I heard, as per the Cricket Canada, they are paying for the uniform. Who is paying? Cricket Canada is paying for the uniforms that they're getting, oh, okay. right? So that's why, no that's why even players get limited t-shirts, limited pants, and uh, everything is very limited to the players. If president cannot bring a sponsorship, to the team, not even one. It doesn't for me. deserve to be. Exactly. Not only that, if president has personal ego problem with players or politics is more important to him than his job, I have problem with that. Hmm. Right? If he has personal problems with players, mm -hmm. I don't think he's fit to do the job. His ha job is more important than these small things. Hmm. I think he should be focused on that and not just get involved into team selection. In the cricket and matter, all. nobody exactly. should be involved. Yeah. I don't think it's the president's job to interfere in the team selection. But he, he claims happening. that he never, uh, he he never interfered. He can say whatever he wants to. And I'm saying it in the camera. It is a fact yeah, that... I'm saying in the camera. It's happening. It's been happening. And I'm sorry. Again, I know what I'm saying. And I know it's a hard truth. <laughs> everybody <laughs> around him, everybody around him is a yes sir, yes sir right now. Yes sir. And he likes these people. Even captain is yes sir? <laughs> I'm not sure about the captain. But I'll say people in the uh, uh, management, mm -hmm. he likes people who agree with him. Anybody who disagrees with him will it's be perfect. Okay. Yeah, sitting here. <laughs> yeah, he's sitting here probably and just trying to tell you guys the true story. <laughs> people, people will not hear these stories. So maybe a lot of people, a lot of players know these things, hmm. but they're scared to speak. Oh, them up. knows they. Why? They're scared to speak. I don't up. understand why they are scared to. Speak. I'll tell you why. Is it is it Canada is like uh, 
is a democratic country. I'll tell you why. We are free to because talk. Because it's a one-man show. I okay. know what's coming for me after this show. I know what's coming you for You better be aware well because show. you must be like uh, hit the last nail on your career. By it's okay for me. At I have state certain with the wish. I have certain principles in life. Okay, good. I'll speak yeah, against wrong. More whether it's in my club level, whether it's my uh, wherever it is, whether it's at the national team, if I see something wrong, hmm. whether it's against me or is one or any other player, I will speak against it. I'll okay, see the so results after. There's <laughs> a rapid question I'm hurling toward both of you. Do not explain. Just answer in yes and no. Okay. Mm -hmm. Do not get into contro controversy, but you can, or you can say pass. Okay. So I heard that there is a call going on from Toronto. Whenever you guys on the foreign tour, there is a call going constantly from Toronto, which player is going to play or not? Yes or no? Yes. Your? Yes. Yes. Okay. So two yes. I've heard that there are certain coach, and I will not name it. Drink with players, and after the night. Curfew time. Is there any curfew time, by the way? No. In the yes, no. No. There's no curfew time in the team. No. no. So is 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 it a truth that one coach, particular coach, with his drinking habit, bring bad impact to the players? Yes, no. Do not take name. Well, I. Mm, it's it's obviously if coach do that, obviously it's bad, right? No, no. Whether it is true or no. I'll say pass. <laughs> this you is a pass. So you pass, well, yes or no? I mean, let's not. Come on, be yeah. frank. No, I mean, um, it's obviously yes. maybe there, but I don't just want to sit okay. to name so it. So you want know. to be yeah. diplomatically yeah. correct. Okay. Not, I'm not and a very diplomat person, but yeah. Are okay. you happy with the present coach? Yes, no? No. You? No. No. Okay. Uh, are you happy with the captain? Yes, no? Well, I mean, uh, I just wanted to be a bit more of rapid fire in this. I just want the captain to be strong enough. To take the stand. To mm -hmm. take the stand. If you think things are not right, hmm. being just captain of Canada is not a big thing hmm. if, you, if you're not doing the job properly. So if you not, if you can't, then stand up to stuff. Otherwise, no need to. Okay. What is your... I would say, as, uh, for, as it's, uh, it's not a simple yes or no question. Mm -hmm. um, I would say the captain, uh, make decisions your own. You know, stand for the right. You know, don't get influenced uh, by others. That's it. As long as he is, you know, mm -hmm. not doing that. I'm so okay. both of you are diplomatic about coach and. Um, we're not and diplomatic. And I'm just it's, saying. It's, it's not no, it's as fine. It's, it's not as simple as you know, yes my, or no. I'm, just I, saying I'm okay that with that. A bit I'm more, more into this yeah. thing. No, so I, I understand because you play together, so there should be a certain respect. Yeah. Not only on. that. I, my only concern is that I hope, I hope that there is no favoritism, there is no influence from outside. You know, when it comes to decision making. So I so hope my that whatever question, decision so let to me make, they change my question. Mm -hmm. Is there any favoritism in the team? Yes. No. Yes. Yes, Both definitely. Okay. Yes, definitely. There are times I have seen it. So we, we saw that there is a clearly interference from Toronto. Mm -hmm. There is a favoritism going on. Team selection, selection is a problem. The coaching staff is a problem. Right? Mm -hmm. But we, you said about the coach that you both are not happy. But that's fine. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, just to add something in here. When it comes to team uh, playing 11 team selection, I have seen it. Favoritism, mm -hmm. I won't say that it's... It happens every day, but I have definitely seen it. Seen, in the past, seen it. Yes. Uh, you have experienced it. I have experienced it. Okay, so that's. I will leave it to you guys to decide. Anything you want to add before we wrap up? Message to the cricket community of Canada, because I'll tell you why. Because Cecil and Rijwan is the two name where every youngster look up to, and they want to become like you. So where whatever you guys are saying. It will really affect the players. And also before that, I'd also like to comment that, you know, what changes you see after the social media comes in, right? So, let's yeah. start with Rijwan. <coughs> First, the, um, I want to, you know, really give you, you know, a uh, clap for all these things you're doing for the players. Thank you. Definitely, it's a huge impact. You know, um, 
that these things were never used to be used to come out. Mm -hmm. So I really want to thank you for bringing issues out there. I know people will say, you know, whoever's have problem will come to your show, mm -hmm. but that's how it is. Mm -hmm. Who, if someone is getting free ride, why would he come to your show anyway? Mm -hmm. So um, the thing is, the social media is important. Awareness is very important. Mm -hmm. People needs to know mm -hmm. what's going on around. Mm -hmm. So that's a very good thing, you know, by your side Thank to you. bringing all these issues out there, out and uh, trying. I'm sure, you know, uh, you're not only, you know, creating problems or, you know, bringing it. You obviously want to see cricket to go up. So that's why these things are happening. We're not here to fighting for ourselves. We want to make sure uh, this team do well. What hurts us because you know as a as a player as a as cricketers we want a team to do well because I have seen good times with Canada so I wanted to see them go up there again mm. so I wanted to do say to the youngsters mm -hmm. work hard and if you play play with your ability mm -hmm. not just because the favor of someone okay. never because seek the favor exactly and doing well in one game scoring 40 or 40s oh, yeah. are taking two wickets not going to take you anywhere mm -hmm. don't be happy with About your performance it. and if you fail mm -hmm. don't seek uh, Excuse. excuses and go and you know hide behind the coaches tell them stories to be in there mm -hmm. work hard yeah you make sure you work hard and to be well. in the team what is your First Take of all, Dvejve, thank you very much uh, for hosting this event. It's only through your program and only when you started, uh, you know, on the social media, all these things that uh, players uh, got a voice. Right? Not only uh, just the players, but I think overall uh, cricket community got a voice and a platform yeah. Yeah. where we can uh, come and speak. Mm. Sometimes some controversial things, but um, uh, that's all part of uh, the thing. Um, my advice to all the youngsters out there, guys, uh, this is a sport that we always love to play. I have uh, always loved playing cricket, and it's been uh, always a great honor for us to represent Canada. So all you youngsters, uh, do not let any uh, politics or anything influence you uh, or any affect your performance or your uh, choice to play for Canada. It's absolute honor to play for Canada. So always keep working hard. And uh, one ad another advice to everybody, not the youngsters, but all, all the cricket players out there, if you see something wrong, stand against it speak the truth stand with the truth it doesn't matter who it is what it is wherever it is that's just a simple principle in life and uh, that's it well thank thanks both of you uh, in the last i just want to wrap it up by saying that it is not to you know pinpoint on one particular person but it is a system which we all are not very happy with yeah. so we need a proper system where the cricketing matter should be completely different from the politics going on in uh, Cricket Canada. And I totally accept where there, there is a human, there will be politics, but do not involve the cricketing matters into the political things. You need to win for as a president or director, do all your lobbying, but please do not involve the cricketing matters into this. It should be separated, there should be a perfect constitution which bar the president or vice president or anybody getting into involved into the cricketing matter. unless there is a requirement to do so. Yeah, that's what I we wanted to bring forward. And the other issue which I wanted to bring forward was there is no accountability, no transparency. It has to be a system where we can actually say, okay, this is the accountable person or this is the transparency. So that's my effort is and I hope that in coming future we get more accountability and transparency. So more time next time to say more things. Yeah. John. And with the hope that one day we'll see the report on the debacle of Namibia and Dubai. <laughs> and I'm very positive and uh, optimistic person. And I believe that Mr. Ranjit Saini will fulfill his promises as he promised online feed, in, in his online feed. So with this hope, we are leaving all of you and till we join you the next time. So thank you very much for watching State Bat with Devish. This might be out. Taken comfortably, that's a good catch in the deep. One run needed. This might run away to the boundary.